Hi, this is James, the unofficial mayor of Cowboy Country, and your favorite stadium guy. And I'm still upset, angry, frustrated. I, I'm so mad, I don't even want to make picks this week. I'm so frustrated, I totally forgot to post the TCU video until today. It's like, I forgot. I completely just... The only good thing about today is the fact that Oklahoma State is not playing. Um, now, what are we going to do for this channel? Because there's lots of people that watch this channel that are not Oklahoma State fans. So, if you're here, you probably like college football stadiums. So, what I'm going to do today is go down to San Marcos and watch a game at Texas State because they are doing some construction on the inside of their stadium. And uh, the only way I'm going to get a good shot of it is to be inside the stadium. So, I don't really care about the game. I mean, it's probably going to be a good game. They're playing Southern Miss. So I'm going to go down there. I'm going to make the, make that video. I'll probably post it tomorrow. Probably next week, make some picks. And no, I'm not picking Oklahoma State over Texas Tech. The only way, the only way Tech is going to lose is if either Morton gets hurt or Tosh Brooks gets hurt or both. Um, now let's talk more positive stuff. <sighs> uh, in December, we're going to do, my wife and I are going to do one of two things. We're either going to go to a bowl game at wherever TCU goes and, or drive up and do kind of a repeat of what I did two years ago. Remember, I went up and saw Kansas, Kansas State, Nebraska, and went through Iowa, got Iowa and Iowa State, and then down through Missouri. And it won't be as many because once I hit Iowa State, we're going to come down and come back home. So it'll be a shorter trip, but we're, the goal is to get the construction at Kansas, uh, revisit Kansas State, and then. Um, the construction, the new construction at Nebraska. Now, the Nebraska uh, football operations building should be done, but there's one end zone where apparently they're going to redo it. They're going to completely redo one of their end zones and put in more premium seats. So that should be good. That should be exciting. If we have time from Lincoln. We could go across in the, to Iowa City and then up to Ames. Um, my understanding is that Iowa is between the Hilton Coliseum and their football stadium, which I'm blanking on the name of right now, but I'll, I'll remember it when I edit it. Um, they're building some kind of fancy... A fan experience area. Um, so between um, the football stadium and the basketball arena, there, there, there's some construction going on there in Iowa. So, plus my wife wasn't with me last time. I mean, literally the last time I went, uh, like we went on our first date, and then I did this trip. And uh, sent her pictures and was calling her every night. And, but this time, now she's my wife. And so she'll be with me. So we'll see what happens. Um, I'm excited about Texas State. I really think they have a outsider's chance of becoming a Pac-12 team. And I think that would be really awesome to have literally all four. Well, well except for the Big Ten. I mean... Yeah, and you really, actually, I take that back. You can't call the Pac-12 a major conference, but I think it would be exciting to have Pac-12 teams come into the state of Texas and play Texas State. 
I think it would be even more exciting if UTEP joined the, the Pac-12 as well, because then you'd have two Texas teams. But quite honestly, I think North Texas is a better fit than UTEP is. So see what happens. I, I know everybody wants to have a, a team in, in the Texas area. Um, I don't know how the Big Ten would make that work, but the SEC is doing a good job. Obviously, the Big 12 is doing a good job. Uh, the ACC has won in, in uh, SMU, so we'll see what happens. Uh, one thing I do know about college football is that it's constantly changing. And as much as facilities were important in the past, as far as recruiting is concerned, now you have the NIL and then this whole revenue sharing thing that's going to happen soon. So anyway, if you are new, please hit like and subscribe. I do want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully tomorrow or Monday, I'll post the video on Texas State. But until then, hope you have a great day.